One, two, three. The bigger picture. That, that is, is what, what you Hollywood would stand for. reformatted because everybody says that I need to stop being so uh, strict and everything so I'm like well, you know okay. what I say to that Tommy what's that fuck them you do what you want that's my message to everybody everybody else can suck it you need to be selfish and do what you want wow that's uh that, that's true words from a it true sounds horrible. it sounds horrible hey, but trust me like the last four days have been absolutely yep. amazing when I decided to just stop giving a shit about anything but myself. Wow, mm -hmm. that's uh, that's really. What do you think of that, Anthony? What what? Uh, Barney, we need a Canadian to weigh in on this. <laughs> well, if you want a Canadian perspective, I think it's important to focus on yourself, definitely. But you at some tell, times, Canadian, eh? part, sometimes part of taking care of yourself is taking care of other people. Too, yeah. Right? Like, no, no, I completely you have agree with to. That. Yeah, but but I know what you're saying. Like, back. It, sometimes easy to get caught up in a lot of BS that isn't your own and to shed that can be really nice here's another way to look at it though from the selfish perspective is why do you help somebody else out when they need help I mean like what's the true reason it's because you want to help them they're your friend you want to make them feel better but inherently that makes you feel better too so I mean you could argue that it's a selfish gesture anytime you do anything nice because it's self-serving and that's okay. Yeah. People need to realize that's an okay reason to do something. If you donate a thousand dollars to charity, and somebody's like, "Oh man, you shouldn't brag about that." Hell no, you shouldn't brag about that because it's gonna let other people know you did it. Then they're gonna think, "Oh, well, maybe I should go donate some money now too because that'll make me feel better." And then they'll feel good, and then you're helping them, yeah. you're helping yourself, and you're being self-serving as hell. <laughs> it, it, it's it sounds bad. It really sounds bad. But this is honestly my break time that I had four days ago. Is nobody wants to be around me if I'm not happy, and I'm not going to be happy unless I'm self-serving in some way. Oh, come on! I can agree with that. Hey, Barnica, I have something for you. What do you got for me? Nobody. Uh, oh, nobody. <laughs> Have you heard of? Uh, oh my God, we're still going. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna raise you a laughing, farting cat. Okay, hold on. Whoa. Sorry. Lemma. <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> oh jeez, I even I have one. Literate. Have you ever seen Bruce Almighty? I have. Um, you remember this scene? I don't actually. That looks like my new co anchor may need a glass of water. Oh, I do remember that. That's Steve Carell, right? Yeah, he's yeah. basically, uh, Bruce is messing with him so he can get the anchor position. And he's messing with his voice, but I can guarantee you, Steve Carell can actually change his voice. And I think he's the one that does meet Wah, doesn't he? I think he does. If he did, that'd be surprising to me. I love me Wad, though. I love me some Wad. You know, I have to tell you what, this is like the most amazing thing uh, that I could... You're one of the most amazing people that I could have on my show tonight because, uh, you know, tonight my other guest couldn't come on tonight. The Illusion, I don't know if you ever heard of him. He was another guy that was on Tosh.02. He was the, the bald illusion? guy. Yeah, The Illusion. I'm going to look him up here. Malibu Illusion. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this guy. He's got that surfer accent big time. Yeah. 
Why couldn't he come on? Um, he was busy. He said that he had to do some stuff, and uh, he said he could do it next Sunday. And I just need to work with him on the link. And That's uh, cool. dude, but dude, you're like this is this is like you fell into my lap at the most perfect time. And I know I kind of came to you and was like, please come on my show. Hey, if you learned anything today, it's just constant persistence and bagging will eventually pay off. It always does. How do you think I got Chris? <laughs> Hey, Chris is a tough. Chris is a tougher nut to crack than I am. So, I had to get on my knees practically and beg him with emails and just everything. And I think Chris got just aggravated with all the emails and messages on his YouTube channel. <laughs> and he was just like, "Fine." He hears my impression of Chris. Fine, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> So do you guys actually, uh, do, you, do you record this show and then publish it to the channel later, or do you actually live stream where everybody can watch it live? We, I live stream it. Um, he, Mark is recording this. This this is a behind-the-scenes footage for the patrons right now, so everything we're saying is being recorded for the patrons. Hi, patrons. Uh, my Tommy heads, the Super Tommy heads, and uh, I hope I didn't just jump, drop that on you, did I? No. Hey, Tommy. I, uh, I remember you telling me Barnclays has a limited time limit, so you might want to start the show on the hour. I, I will. I, no worries. Uh, I'm good. I'm good for the hour. I, I can give you guys the full hour till seven. And if I have to go a little over seven, it's not a big deal. That just happens to be when the pizza order is going in. So you guys know, <laughs> back in pizza, you can't keep us apart. <laughs> oh God, Barnclays. Hey, Jerry, you... what do you think of the boss's outfit tonight? Oh, dude, he's always dressed like like a boss, like. That, that's one. That's one of Tommy's key defining features. That's always like made him memorable to me. Is not only his attitude, but it's just like you just look at him and you're like, there is a guy that's like, you know what? I'm gonna dress like I want to dress, and you all can just. And yeah. it's snappy. He, he's like, he's like, he's dressed like. If, if everybody was dressed like him, there would be no crime in America. <laughs> like there, there just wouldn't. Everybody would just be like overly happy and overly ambitious, and we'd have no national debt, and we'd be like the leaders of industry in the world. You know, seriously, like being dressed like that can change a society. Um, well, Tommy, why do you think there's gangsters. Okay, that's the that's the loophole. <laughs> <laughs> the mafia club. The mafia. If everybody dressed like that, I think the mafia would probably blend in a little better, and that wouldn't be a good thing. Tommy. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. I could put this on to the patrons, okay? Okay. Can um, I use it? Can I use it for my channel as well? After it's gone live, I mean. Um. I mean, but when, what do you mean? I, it would go public um soon, won't it? Yeah, so it would go for the patrons, basically. It would go for the patrons. Yeah, but how how long is it going to be for the patrons, though, Tommy? Um. I'll be back, Tommy. I'm just. Uh... Trying to think here, it, but you know, just you put it on there for the patrons and give them three days to watch it. That's how I do it. Give them three days to watch it. Okay. And then after those three days are up, Mark, you just post it straight to my channel. Yeah, that means I want that I can use it for my channel as well. Yeah. Sure, man. You're okay. welcome to do that. Okay. Oh. Hey, there's plenty of barnacles to go around. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> barnacle, what do you prefer, peanut butter and jelly sandwich or a steak? Oh, that's a tough one, man. Um, that's like that's like a mood thing. There's there's sometimes when you just gotta have a PBJ, but probably the steak. steak I'm a steak yeah. guy. I love me some steak. T that Tommy. might be one of the questions I may ask you. I, I kind of ask random questions at the same time, but I'll ask questions. Yeah, oh, hold on a second. Yes, Mark? I'm also a pony nogasm. A pony gasm? I only wish I had one of those stuffed ponies right here because I could do something completely inappropriate at the end of the show and just shock everybody. Like, just be cool through the Mark whole show, and then the Mark last three seconds before he canceled, I just rail it against the desk and flip off the camera, and boom, million hits, done. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how YouTube works? I forgot. Oh, Mark, yeah, did you mention to your fans yeah, you're going to be on here tonight? If you send me a public-facing link, I will I will go and whore this out. All right. Um, Let me go. Me. I was just thinking that, so I was <laughs> you're ahead of me. Let me go on with my subscription and post. I will get us at least 20 more live viewers if, if you guys give me that one. Copy. At least. At least. Okay, I'm posting it in the hell. chat here. I didn't believe he's gonna say. There that. it is. <clears throat> it's in Stop the it. uh, it's in the chat, uh, Jerry. Yeah, I got it. 
Ooh, Ooh Johnny, you're gonna bring up the BLT debate tonight. What'd What's you that? say? One you're minute to go. Bring up the Tommy. BLT debate tonight. Um, depends on if Jerry wants to talk about BLTs. Dude, I will talk about absolutely <laughs> anything as long as it's not where I hide the hookers after I kill them, <laughs> or my drug addictions. We got to stay okay. away from those. Dang it! I Jerry. really wanted to know that stuff. <laughs> that all under wraps. <laughs> That's all under wraps because like there's still a court case open on it, and I don't want to like leak anything to the defense. You know, you know how it is. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, Jerry, we don't want them to find your spot for next time. You said. In your video, what was this yeah. about people stealing something and apparently you just turned it all over to the authorities? Oh no, dude, that was that was rough. Uh, that was actually a big reason why I was getting so toxic online. I basically had somebody steal about thirty-five thousand dollars worth of products from three hundred different companies using my name and my business. Mm. And they're basically posing as the editor for my channel, and so the police wouldn't do anything about it. So I went and launched a full-scale investigation at my own cost. I found the person. Got his name, where he worked, what school he went to, his past crimes, self-admission to other thefts that he did online in several social engineering forums. And I had to turn all that evidence over to the police, the attorney general for Washington and New York where he resided, and also have an FBI case open on it. And I was just juggling all that stuff and micromanaging it because police don't ever want to do anything, right? You got you to, like, <laughs> shove them and shove them and shove them to get them to, like, put the box of donuts away and go arrest somebody. And uh, so... so Basically, in a nutshell, I just gave up on all that, and I was like, you know what? The evidence is there. The case, I've got three case numbers open, so in the future, if the guy keeps going, something's going to happen to him, but I'm not going to just micromanage the whole process. All right. What oh. kind of product was it? The suspense is killing with the music. It's just, it's suspense is oh, killing. Hey, Tommy, it's go time. Wait, wait, what time is it? I'm doing it. It's, um, it's, it's 9.31. It, we're, remember, we're competing with Homs here, so we have to go at 9.30. Because well, we're going Bonacris, up against Homs. Bonacris has a time limit, Tommy. We've got to start now. I'm here until 7. So He's here until 7. You need to start now. Okay. Just a second. Listen to the man in the Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> you really think you wear these shirts? Everybody. No, Tommy, don't. I love, the, I everybody love needs, your Hawaiian shirts. Uh, don't do everybody it. needs to meet. I don't care how. Just stick to 9.30. No, um, but here's the thing, um, everyone oh. needs to mute, mute themselves, gotcha.